Welcome live inside SB Gymnasium for the New Jersey Athletic Conference semifinals between the number one seed Rowan Profs and the number five seed TCNJ Lions. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending your Tuesday evening with us here. Caraguno on the call. It's going to be an exciting one for the semifinal matchup. Rowan coming into this one 20 and five on the season, 16 and two. In the end, Jack, their two losses coming to NJCU and Montclair State, their last game of the regular season. And for GCNJ, 10 and 16 on the year, eight and 10 in the end, Jack, winning one in a row against a huge opponent in the semi, the quarterfinal match, which is a very exciting game. We'll get you into that one as the game goes on, but very exciting team coming into this one for the profs, riding that red hot streak throughout the season. The number one seed, Coming into the tournament as well. Meanwhile, TCNJ overcame their odds to beat the end of the game, taking down the fourth seeded Kane Cougars. And they take on the Rowan Profs as we get ready to set you off for tip off. It's going to be Andrew Seeger and Danny Bodine as the Lions win the opening tip. We'll first start with the starters of the Lions number one, Danny Bodine, Pat Higgins, Jason Laranega as a first tip that goes in the way of the props. That's gonna be the steal. Anthony DeCaro and Jim Clemente rounding out the starting lineup for the Lions. And for the props, it's gonna be the usual five that started out every single game of the season. Connor Dickerson, DeAndre Vilmar, Andrew Seeger, Jazir Noel, and Marcellus Ross. This comes Ross off the curl, stops, gives it off to Seeger, top of the key. Dickerson wants it with the left hand out to Noel. Noel thought about the three, pulls up for mid-range, no good. Rebound Clemente. Laranega. Higgins. Clemente top of the key. Clemente right side elbow, spins on Seeger. Puts one up over the top and gets it to go. This Lions team averages 69.2 points per game as Vilmar misses on the righty layup. DeCaro, the senior guard, to Clemente. Back to DeCaro, off the feed for three, no. Noel with the rebound. Noel the end, Jack's leading scorer. Crossover to Seeger. Seeger with the Euro step, got it. Laranega, left wing. DeCaro wants the top of the key. Here comes Clement. Bodine off the feed. Laranega comes up baseline. Inside the paint, eight on the shot clock with the hook. Gets it to go. Early two point lead for the Lions. Seeger missed it from downtown. Bodine with another board. Reverse slam is good for Pat Higgins, the sophomore guard out of Pennington, New Jersey. Gives a four point advantage for the Lions. Dickerson gives it off for Vilmar. Vilmar draws the contact and he will head to the free throw line. Very unselfish play there from Dickerson giving off to Vilmar. First foul called on either squad in this one. Vilmar averages 19 and a half minutes per game with the profs, 26th start out of the 26 games they've played in so far. 47.6% free throw shooter as he misses it short on the first. And he goes one for two at the free throw line. Some full court pressure here for Rowan. This is DeCaro. Laranego, right side wing. Wants the clear out. He'll reset up top. Clement, Clemente, excuse me. 
Left side wing moving from right to left. 10 on the shot clock, there's the back door. Higgins steps back from beyond the arc, missed it. Vilmar tracks down the board. Vilmar to Ross. Ross with the hand in his face, got it! Marcellus Ross, if he can hit from downtown, it's very, very scary. Shooting 20.4% on the season. DeCaro guarded by Vilmar. Clemente. Not picking him up from downtown. DeCare will fire too long. Ross with a rebound. Rowan looking to push. Seeger couldn't handle the pass from Noel. First turnover of the game for Rowan. TCNJ, they only score 69.2 points per game, holding opponents to 79.2 points per game. Rowan, on the other hand, 92.2 points per game, but giving up more points, 79 and a half points per game. So defense for the Profs has definitely been in question as of late, as there's no good from that free throw. Three-pointer from Laranega. Ross missed it. Offensive board for Vilmar. Seeger keeps it in play. Ross will try again. Two in a row for Marcellus Ross. Ross quickly with six points. Bodine stops, spins on Seeger, little baby hook over the top. Bodine 6'9", Seeger 6'7". Ross with the left hand to Vilmar. Vilmar attacks with the left, had it stripped. Dickerson's there. Seeger. Tough look, rips through the offensive board, puts it up and in. Four points for Andrew Seeger, six points for Ross, a one for Vilmar. Profs now up 11 to eight. Clemente wants the handoff for Laranega. Swings it out to Caro. De Caro driving with the left hand, gives in the corner for Higgins for three, missed. 0 for five from downtown are the Lions. Noel gives it to Vilmar, who lays it in. Strong start here for the profs. Laranega, out to Clement. Clemente, the senior, looking for the back door. Sophomore comes and gets it in Higgins. Bodine from downtown got nothing. 0 oh for 6 from beyond the arc. Are the Lions, here comes Damian Smith first off the bench for the props. On the season, the Lions at 31.9% from downtown, but have been struggling here in the opening minutes, trailing 13 to 8. 14, 45, 14, 35, I should say, left in the first half. No. And Jack leading score, spin, steps back, gives it up to Seeger, lost it. Bodine with the steal. In the corner for Trevor Covey coming in off the bench. Gets it back off the feed from the inside, no good, offensive board. Covey with the finish. Ross, again from beyond the arc. Marcellus Ross, three for three. Hot start for Ross. Nice hustle play for the profs. Smith and Ross tangled up with Kofi of the Lions, and it's gonna be Rowan basketball. Seeger stay in. Jazir Knoll takes the seat. Mike Davey, 6'10, comes in. Off the inbound pass. Seeger sets his feet and drains it. Also coming in, the freshman, Matthew Solomon. DeCaro to Bodine. Over the top of Davy and in.
Dickerson wants the screen, top of the key. Across the court for Seeger. Seeger with the spin and the lay-in. Andrew Seeger, nine points to start this one out. Profs lead it, 21 to 12. A fantastic run for the Profs. Hit their last five of six from the field. You could not ask for a better start for the Profs as TCNJ and head coach Matt Goldsmith are forced to call a timeout. This is Goldsmith's eighth season and they are facing against the number one team for the Profs, Red, Heart, Red Hot, throughout the regular season. who are ranked nationally at one point, top 25, then top 23. And after their loss to NJCU, dropped out of the top 25 teams in D3 and are looking to get back in as the regular season closes out. The winner of the New Jersey Athletic Conference Tournament gets the automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament. Rowan went to the NCAA Tournament last season. Did not win the conference championship. That was Stockton who got it done, as they sit at the number two seed right now. But a lot of the season is left right now for the props if they choose to play so. TCNJ trying to pull off another upset. Off the timeout, here's Higgins. Amon Bickley comes in off the bench as well. So Lamont all by himself, not guarding him on the perimeter. Higgins splits a pair. The double team gives it off and it's poked away. Ross tries to feed it into Davey and it's gonna be a kick basketball. Jason Laranega comes back in. The senior out of Montclair, New Jersey. Bickley to Smith, lines it up from downtown, missed it. DeCaro to Bodine. Left side block for Solomon. Keep the dribble alive, back door for Laranega. And it's gonna be TCNJ basketball. Laranega took a hard fall there. Marcellus Ross checks out. Josh Wright getting some action for the first time tonight. The senior gets up on his own two feet there. DeCaro to inbound. Reset to Bodine, who will try a triple from deep. Missed it again. 0 for 8 from downtown. Here comes Bickley. Leaves it for right. Right with the left hand. He flicks it up. And he will go to the free throw line. Damian Smith was there for the putback slam, but whistle blows first. As Wright will head to the free throw line. Josh Wright at the charity stripe. The fourth leading scorer for Rowan as he drains the first free throw, shooting 79% on the season. That's his 101st attempt from the line this year. Matthew O'Quarry checks in, the sophomore, for the first time tonight. Wright goes one for two, Bodine with another rebound. That's his second. DeCaro picked up by Smith. Left side elbow for Solomon, off the feed to Bodine. Bodine thought about the three, here comes Davey. Bodine in the paint. Spins, got it. That's gonna be the matchup to watch. Bodine with six points to lead the Lions. Bickley to Seeger, top of the key. Seeger to Davey, and he missed it. 
Dicaro from right to left. Going to be a foul on Smith. Jazir No will come back in. Seager will take a seat. Larinaga also checks back in for Bodine. Higgins over the top. Okori. Larinaga. Couple of ball fakes. Left side elbow wants it in the post. A double team. Good hands there from Bickley. Loose ball. And the possession arrow is going to face the Lions. In this TCNJ squad, they're a very tough team, as Clemente will check back in. They beat the number four seed, Kane University, upset them in overtime, 85-81 to get here. The Rowan Profs did have the bye week, so they have not played in a while here. Five on the shot clock. Clemente off the glass, left it short. It'll be Rowan basketball. Anthony DeCaro coming off of a 20-point performance. Higgins had 19, Bodine 13, and Laranega 14, those two, switching it out. So far as Bodine with six, and Ross and Seeger each with nine for the props. Noel with the pull up mid-range. Second rebound for DeCaro. DeCaro yet to score in this one. Works it with the left hand, too strong. Noel with the crossover, pulling out the handles. Bickley through traffic off the glass, no. And they're gonna call a foul on Davey there. The Rowan on the season has had very many winning streaks, but in their last couple games, they did find themselves to struggle two and two in their last four games, including the loss to NJCU and the overtime loss against Montclair State to close out the regular season. But overall, only five losses on the season. Larinaga goes baseline with a sidestep. It's rejected by Davey. Higgins from downtown, and that's the first triple of the night for the Lions. 9.40 to play in the first half, 22-17. Smith to Bickley, working on the perimeter. Here's Josh Wright. Bickley tries to give it to Noel, and he didn't roll there properly. Here comes Higgins. DeCaro tries, no. Bickley moving quickly to Noel. Noel Euro step with the lay in. That's the first bucket of the day for Noel, one for three from the field. Right with the active hands. And now we see Hafiz Melvin for the first time. Props going small here. Noel, the tallest guy out there, 6'6. Six, six. Melvin, 6 foot. Bickley, 5'10. Right side elbow for Clemente. Higgins puts it up. Clemente gets the rebound, loose ball, Smith's got it. Smith, 6-1. Bickley, baseline floater, no. Higgins slings it inside, Clemente left it short, rebound, Noel. Noel, with the spin move, left it short but got the contact. Also going on tonight is the matchup between Stockton and Montclair State. We'll give you updates how that one is going as well. That one's in Galloway as Noel gets the first one to go. Montclair State the three seed and Stockton the two seed. Noel nets a pair. 26-17 lead for Rowan.
Bodine mismatch against Melvin. Larinaga spots up a corner three. Got nothing, and Noel touched it last out of play. It'll be a rebound, a reset underneath for the Lions. Clemente spins. Left side block, eight on the shot clock. And it's gonna be Rowan basketball. Good defense there from Noel. On the season, Rowan the number one scoring offense in the conference, TCNJ the number six scoring offense. Rowan number 10 in defense out of 10 teams. Meanwhile, TCNJ number seven, so both teams more offensive minded, but obviously you know what Rowan is capable of, averaging 92.2 points per game. Noel with the spin. Smith, corner for Dickerson, fires up a three. Great ball movement for LaCrosse, unselfish play. Higgins double teamed, Bodine's there. Higgins goes baseline, reverse layup, nice finish. 10-point lead for the Rowan props. Noel. Long two, got it. Noel's feeling it now. Higgins with the hesitation. Stopped, left side block. Clemente. Nick Koch. Floats it. No, offensive board, got it. Cox, the freshman, getting some key minutes here in this one with 6.45 to play in the first half. 10 point lead for the profs. Melvin and Noel playing catch. Noel from way downtown, no. DeCaro with his third board. Higgins. DeCaro, Dickerson picked his pocket. Here comes Melvin, and he lays it in all by himself. Rowan offense, they are working here in this first half. 6.14 to play. Full timeout called by the Lions. 33-21, we'll be right back here on Rowan Athletics. <laughs> Welcome back to NJAC basketball here on Rowan University Athletics says Rowan leads TCNJ 33-21 in the NJAC semifinals, the number one seed and the number five seed doing battle here from Mesby Gymnasium in Glassboro, New Jersey. Great to have you again with us. DeCaro to Clement with the spin. DeCaro fires it up from downtown. That's only the second May three of the day for the Lions, and that's DeCaro's first bucket as well. He was 0 for 4 from the field and 0 for 3 from downtown. Seeger off the feed from Melvin. Dickerson goes inside. 
and there's going to be a foul on the floor. This is the third time these two teams are facing off this season. Rowan so far has swept the season series against the Lions, 87-82 in November, and then 83-65 in the end of January. So it's been a while since almost a month before these two teams have faced off again. Melvin wants the screen from Ross. Moving from right to left with the handles. And Melvin draws the contact. Fouls on Koch, that's his second. Melvin at the line to shoot two. Melvin, and only his 12th game with the props came late this season. Played such a pivotal role for this prop squad last season as well. He's the only 53.6% free throw shooter. And he gets them both there. Last season, Melvin averaged 12.7 points per game, four and a half rebounds, and 3.4 assists. DeCaro with a heat check. Long range rebound belongs to Higgins. Great job defensively from the props here in this one. Head coach Matt Goldsmith looks a little bit in, in disbelief at that call. Five minutes to play in the first half. Melvin from way downtown. Hafiz Melvin. Mm -hmm. Wanted to give a little bit of taste of all medicine to DeCaro there, and he hit it. Clemente, and there's a whistle. He's gonna be on Melvin, his first. O'Quarry will check out. It's Laranega, DeCaro, Higgins, Clemente, and Bodine out there for the Lions, their starters, and Rowan's as well, minus Hafiz Melvin is in there in the place of Jazir Knoll. Clemente, 10 on the shot clock, gives it off to DeCaro. DeCaro with the ball fake, slips it through, and Clemente gets fouled. Good find from DeCaro. Vilmar gets called for the foul there. Clemente, the fourth leading scorer for the Lions to shoot a pair now. 69.5% free throw shooter on the season. Doesn't shoot many threes. He's only attempted seven in the season, so that's why you see defensively the props are not pressing him unless he's inside the arc as he will take a seat now. The other big man in Matthew Solomon, the freshman out of Manasquan, New Jersey. Ross, another deep try, connects! Marcellus Ross, four for four from downtown. 41-26 lead for the props with four minutes and five seconds to play here in the first half. DeCaro, a little hesitation, high off the glass, too strong. Melvin looking to push. Melvin to Ross again for three, no. First miss of the day for Ross, and it's still four minutes left to play in this one. Up. Besides that, hit his four first four attempts from downtown. DeCaro working it on Dickerson, and he gets called for the foul. That's his first. Eugenio will come back in, and Melvin will take a seat. So now it's the starters for Rowan. Another whistle. Ross for his first foul. Dickerson comes out, Josh Wright will come in.
Higgins to inbound to Carroll off the inbound the pull up short corner no loose ball and it's going to be rolling basketball either way in the tie up Although TCNJ coming into this one, 8 and 10 record in the end, Jack. 10 and 16 in the regular season, obviously with the losing records, they've proved to just keep fighting. They, TCNJ tried to beat Kane for the first time this season, and they were able to do so. No spin move. Seeger, 8 on the shot clock with the crossover. The tip, no. Rebound, Laranega. Three minutes left in the first half. The Caro Solomon with the lay in. And that forces Rowan to call a timeout. 41 28 as the Lions are trying to cut this deficit. We'll take a quick step off and return here for 2.54 left in the first half. Turn for the final two minutes and 54 seconds left of the first half. This is Josh Wright for the profs. Pull up, left side elbow knocks it down. Rowan leads this one now 43 28 over the TCNJ Lions. Solomon to Higgins. Bodine. And off to DeCaro, the leading scorer for the Lions, slips it through. And Solomon, late whistle, trying to go over the top of the defender. Good find again for DeCaro. DeCaro, a very unselfish player. 100 assists coming into this game now, 101 on the season. Solomon misses the free throw. Plays a lot of minutes for a freshman, 17.2 minutes per game, 76.2% free throw shooter, goes one for two there. Right, again, pull up, no. Solomon, not guarding him, instead he accepts inside the perimeter. Higgins. Higgins, crossover, right to left, over the top, reverse layup, short. Noel trying to go the length of the floor. He gets bumped. Nashawn Birch, the senior, will come in for the first time with a minute and 44 left in the first half. Jazir Noel at the free throw line. On the one and one, got it. Noel, the and Jack Leader in scoring with 19.9 points per game. And missed, made them both, excuse me, made them both. Close to the 500 mark for points on the season as well. Odine 
Clemente. Birch stops, puts it up, and got fouled. Josh Wright gets called to the foul. That's his first. Birch has made one start this season for the Lions. His 25th game played, 75% free throw shoot on the season. This is going to be attempts only five and six on the year as he gets the first one to go. Jason Larinaga also back in. And Birch cuts them both to cut the deficit to 14, 45, 31. Seeger launches. Got nothing there. One for three from beyond the arc with a minute 12 to play. Right comes out, Dickerson comes in. Clemente to DeCaro. DeCaro fourth in the conference and assists. As good hands from Smith, forcing a turnover to the sixth of the day for the Lions. Josh Wright returns. Dickerson back in, back out, excuse me. Right, tough layup. DeCaro looking to push. Three on one in favor of the props. DeCaro stops, gives it off to Birch. Birch fires from deep, nets it through. 45 seconds to play in the first half. Noel with eight so far in this one. With the left hand pull up. No. Rebound to Caro. Shot clock unplugged. Caro will reset, pull it back out to Bodine. 19 seconds to play in the first half. To Caro with the left hand. Stops. Short corner, Larinaga. Birch wants it to reset. 10 to go. Birch with the stop. Clement. Ball fake. To Caro. He's got to pull up at the buzzer, and no good to close out the first half. Profs lead it 45 to 34. Leading scorers, Bodine with six for the Lions. And for the Profs, it's Marcellus Ross with 12, the only player in double figures so far in this one. Lions shooting 31.7% from the field and only 21.4% from downtown. Three for 14. Meanwhile, Rowan 46.9% from the field and 58.3% from downtown. That will close out the first half. Rowan leads it 45-34. We'll be back soon for the start of the second half on Rowan Athletics.
Rowan University, our momentum is unstoppable, pushing forward, pushing boundaries, and blazing our own path. We don't wait for the future, we make it. Preparing new leaders to face the challenges of tomorrow, creating innovative pathways to earn a degree on your terms, attracting a community of unique students who are ready to make their mark on the world. So make your mark and be unstoppable at Rowan University. Proportion to me is the lived experience of our Division III student athletes. They balance life from an academic perspective and the rigors of competing at a high level, bonding with teammates and building lifelong friendships. But they also are involved in their communities. They work jobs and internships and volunteer. They've learned to be resilient. Diverse experiences are setting them up for the future.
is and they're dedicated. That's part of combination. You really want to be challenged and you know, get to your goals faster. That's that's why I would say come here. A good citizen is someone who wants to make a positive impact both in their communities and in the world around them. The Division Three approach is absolutely the best approach out there for amateur sport because it wants student athletes to explore all parts of who they are. Be successful in the classroom, be successful in competition, be successful in the community. So our student athletes learn what it means to strive for and attain success but doing it the right way and being good citizens. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. On and off the court, we're focused on creating lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. More college athletes are earning degrees than ever before, but we've still got work to do. That's why we're raising the bar for incoming freshmen, so they're prepared when they get to campus, and why teams can't play in championships unless they make the grade. Education matters, and putting academics first creates a pathway to a lifetime of opportunity. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org. Responsibility is being accountable for your words and actions, first and foremost. It also is an obligation to be a positive influence in the communities around you. Being in a D3 program, you're going to have lots of different opportunities. You're not just an athlete, you're also involved in student life. Your academics are extremely important. We give a lot of our student athletes responsibilities right from the start by giving them leadership opportunities, by having them engage in the community, be a positive influence. That's being a responsible person. And one word, if I had to describe trifecta therapeutics, if I had to describe trifecta in one word, it would be empower. The purpose of trifecta therapeutics would be to uh, empower athletic community. I just really like the population of having active individuals and people who really want to get back do whatever they could to get back and want to be part of that process. We want them to feel like this is an environment where they belong and where they're going to get the best possible care. This is a professional environment. They're all working with their doctor physical therapy, but I want them to be comfortable and fun. Not only do we want to rehab you from your injuries, we want to get you to an optimal place as an athlete. My clients are also there. They're active, they're hungry, they all want to get back to something. They're focused and they're dedicated. That's a perfect combination. You really want to be challenged and you know, get to your goals faster. That's, that's why I would say from here. On and off the court, we're focused on creating lifelong opportunity. And that starts with education. More college athletes are earning degrees than ever before, but we've still got work to do. That's why we're raising the bar for incoming freshmen, so they're prepared when they get to campus, 
and why teams can't play in championships unless they make the grade. Education matters, and putting academics first creates a pathway to a lifetime of opportunity. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. I believe sportsmanship is a, it's a mutual admiration and respect for your fellow competitors. We all go through a lot to reach the point where we compete against one another. It's important to realize that. So once we're finally on the field or on the court or on the starting block, we look at each other as fellow human beings and not just competitors. Being able to recognize the hard work that other athletes are putting in creates a more positive and inclusive environment. to Rowan University Athletics to start the second half between the number one Frost and the number five TCNJ Lions in the NJAC semifinals. Rowan with the ball here to start the second half. Lead at 45-34. Noel with the spin move. How about that? And the finish, Jazir Noel. 10 points for the Frost leading scorer here in this one. Bodine to Laranega, sets his feet from deep. Tip to Clemente, who puts it up and in. Six points for Clemente, two for five from the field. No, another spin move. Jazir Noel with a tough finish. Quickly ties leading scorer for Ross. Laranega to Bodine. 
Back to Laranago, left side wing. Clemente, top of the key, one dribble inside the perimeter. Now there's two. Picks up his dribble, looking for the handoff to Bodine. Bodine spins over the top of Noel. Bodine with eight. Noel with the pull up, too strong. Rebound Clemente. DeCaro, the leading scorer for the Lions. Gives it off to Higgins in the quarter. Laranega goes baseline. Clemente, baby hook, got it. Nine out of the 10 players for the Lions who have checked in have scored here in this one as Ross again for three. Ross has only missed one three-point attempt this entire game. Higgins, and Ross touched it last. Great defense there from Marcellus Ross. Profs are now shooting 61.5% from downtown. They have hit eight of 13, and Ross has hit five. Clemente, couple of dribbles in the paint. Spins, flicks it up over the top of Seeger, missed it. Noel with a six board to lead the way for the props. And DeCaro a little too handsy, so he'll get called for the foul. Props with a 12 point lead. Dickerson, the spin move, double clutch, no. DeCara running the floor. Left corner and lost it out of play. That's gonna be the seventh turnover for the Lions. Fourteen and a half turnovers per game for the Lions, says Vilmar couldn't handle the pass. That's so going to be a turnover on the props. DeCaro into the paint, scoops it up and in. Nice move from DeCaro. Only a second field goal today. He's hit one from beyond the arc, one for five and two field goals. Vilmar, nice move. Higgins. Laranega left wing. Clemente turns, faces left elbow. Higgins spots up the three, swish. Feeling it, left it short. DeCaro with his sixth rebound. DeCaro high off the glass and in. TCNJ continues to cut this lead, 54-47. Head coach Joe Crispin calls a timeout of his own, wants to reset and to talk things over for the profs. Timeout there, 30 second timeout as they still lead this 154 47 in the NJAC semifinals. Number one versus number five seed. Cross at the first round by. Vilmar, high off the glass for two.
Bodine lost it out of bounds. So a couple turnovers are limiting the Lions here from coming back in this one. Costly turnovers definitely can come back and bite them. Here's Dickerson to Vilmar. Vilmar too strong. Higgins comes and get the pass. And Ross tipped it. Ross is doing a very good job defensively today. Two steals to lead the way for the Profs. A lot of deflections as well in the mix. Also, fantastic performance. Took him a while this year to get the going from downtown, but since then he's been up to his usual standards like he was last season for Rowan. Clemency, hand off to Higgins. Higgins thought about the three. Clemency's there, 10 on the shot clock for the Lions. And a foul on the floor. Smith gets called for the second. Underneath here, the inbound for the Lions. Higgins, in and out. Seeger, pull up, got it. The third player in double figures now for Rowan as they lead it 59-47. Bodine to Laranaga. Higgins, Clemente, top of the key. Smith trying to fight through the screen, Laranaga. No good, miss it to the right. Smith to Ross, a triple, no. Seager, put back slam with one hand. Seager came flying out of nowhere. Crowd on their feet. Rowan takes the lead, 61-47. Lions talking this one over. here on Rowan Athletics, and if you just missed it, Andrew Seeger had a putback slam off the miss from Ross, and Crowder on their feet. TCNJ had to reset this one. 61-47, 14 and a half left to play in this NJAC semifinal. Three players in double figures. For the profs, Seeger with 14, Ross with 15, and Noel with 12, as the officials are having a meeting here to see maybe who touched it last. And it looks like the call will stay with Rowan basketball. No players in double figures yet for the Lions. Bodine with eight, and Clemente each with eight. Six rebounds for DeCaro and Clemente as well. Nashon Birch also in the game for the Lions, along with Hafiz Melvin for Rowan. Birch. Clemente, top of the key. Matthew Okori also in. Clemente, left side elbow, tries to back into Seeger's double team. Okori 
drives inside, floats one up and in. So now everybody who has hit the floor for the Lions has scored here in this one. Vilmar with the handles, he'll go to the line. Vilmar also has played a pretty good game, seven points, two rebounds, two assists. A chance to go back to the line for the second time today. Again, Rowan had the first round by after clinching the number one seed in the tournament as Vilmar misses the first. It solidified their regular season title with the win against Rutgers Newark, 77 to 70. That was on February, February 11th. And then following that, they already had the standing set and they lost to Montclair State in overtime, 104 to 100, but have not played since last Wednesday, the 15th as now they are taking on the Lions in the semifinal. TCNJ had to beat Kane in overtime to get here, upset them, the fourth seed. Birch has to get it over before 10 seconds, and he does. Pass is tipped again. Seeger to Vilmar, lays it in. Defense to offense for the props. Hounding again. Dickerson gets called for the foul. Looks like he got a piece of Okore there. Larinaga comes on. Okore will take a seat. Rowan's on a 10 and two run in the last two minutes and 45 seconds. DeCaro. Solomon in, Bodine catch, flips it up and in. Bodine now with 10. Melvin. Vilmar short corner. Seeger left wing. Into the post for Melvin. 10 on the shot clock. Melvin to Smith, lines up the three and hits it. Birch, spin, Bodine. DeCaro wants it with the left hand. Left side elbow now. Solomon, nobody's picking him up. Laranega fires off the mark, the tip. Birch collects and misses the righty lay in. Melvin to Seeger straight on. Smith, no good. Solomon, the board. Looks like Smith got hit on that play. He hit to the ground and no call. 12 minutes to play, second half. Bodine. DeCaro wants to settle it down. Solomon. And a foul. Looks like it's going to be called on the props. Vilmar gets called for the foul, his second. Jazir Noll checks in. Marcellus Ross is on the bench with now Connor Dickerson and Andrew Seeger. Mike Davey checks in. Josh Wright as well. Bodine off the screen. Birch fires a three. Birch knocks it down. That's his second three. Noel fell on the floor. Noel off the feed. Double team and another foul. Too aggressive, Matthew Solomon there. His third foul, he's a little bit in some foul trouble for the Lions. 
11-19 to play in the second half. TCNJ trying to make it two upsets in a row. Three and two in their last five games. Right. Banks it in and flexes afterwards. Birch, Higgins, with the left hand stops, bounces it to Birch. Back to Higgins, with the fake, the feed, Solomon, short on the floater. Noel, hesitation, spin. No, short, his own rebound. Lions want to jump. Officials look like they'll call a foul on the floor. Solomon, four fouls, so he's gonna have to exit this one. Jim Clemente, the senior, checks in for the freshman. Left side wing at the logo for Josh Wright. Davey wants a seal in the post. Low block. Smith to Josh Wright. Yes! Josh Wright from downtown. The profs. 10 of 18 from beyond the arc. Clemente to DeCaro. DeCaro hesitates. Met by a triple team and he got bumped. TCNJ, pretty up and down year for them. Talked about three and two in their last five, but also did have a three game losing streak from the stretch of late January to the beginning of February, including losses to Rowan, Montclair, and Kane. Looking to bounce back and close out the regular season though. DeCaro lost the handle. Noel running the floor. Noel too strong. Higgins, far side, leaves it for DeCaro. Back to Higgins. Balances it into Bodine. Bodine flicks it over the top of Davey. Blocked by Noel and then Clemente cleans it up. Foul called on Clemente. TCNJ also had a nine game losing streak that spanned from the end of November, November 30th. That was again started by the Rowan Profs and then went all the way to the beginning of January, January 4th, including losses to NJAC, opponents in Stockton, Kane. Again, Rowan Montclair State and some out of conference opponents as well as Ross stepped on the baseline. But DCNJ, a very up and down season, started off the year with two losses. Played Division I Rider, lost, and then went off against your Sinus. Struggled a little bit in the end track to open it up, but closed out the season, obviously, on a high note. But again, uh, this, prof's tough, this tough Profs team with only five losses on the year, they're a very hard team to beat. Birch again from downtown, off the back iron. Okori tips it to Davey. Melvin with the quick move, hung out the glass, 4-2. Hafiz Melvin gets the crowd excited. Seventy-four fifty-six lead for the profs, and they had the ability again to just put opponents away early on, beating teams like Ramapo ninety-seven to sixty-six, Stockton projected the number one pick in the court tournament. They beat them one hundred seven to sixty-nine. A lot of Rowan fans will remember that one. Birch high floater or Corey over the top got it to go. Birch 
in some pain as we will take a step off. We resume play here on Road Athletics as Nayshawn Birch will get tended to by the athletic training staff here at Rowan. Seventy-four fifty-eight lead for the Profs. Eight minutes and twenty-three seconds left to decide who goes to the NJAC championship. Right to Davy, high post now Ross. Far side wing. Let's get past the Dickerson. Dickerson to Davey. Right side block, eight on the shot clock. Dickerson across to Noel. Noel from way downtown. Money. 15 points for Jazir Noel. Larinaga tries to answer, missed it. Ross, coast to coast, short. Noel, jump ball, Lions basketball. Noel tried to rip it through two Lions there. It's gonna be the tie up. Bodine will back, be back in. Larinaga out. And this is part of the game where the profs, they have this lead now, 77 to 58. This is where things kind of start getting fun for this Rowan squad. We've seen them time and time again. A very unselfish team. Love to run the floor. And I'm trying to put you away offensively very soon. And I've locked down as well here in this one. Holding opponents to 79.8 points per game. Obviously right now TCNJ sits at 58. DeCaro. To Bodine, Bodine lets it fly, no good. Rebound, Clemente, reset to DeCaro. DeCaro, there's the answer. 10 points for DeCaro, 10 points for Bodine, and 10 points for Clemente. Right at the props logo. Wants the screen, Davey left side. Through the double team, and it's turned over. Only the sixth of the day for the profs. Under their average of 15 turnovers per game. Andrew Seeger, DeAndre Vilmar, and Afis Melvin also will come back in for Davey, Josh Wright, and Jazir Knoll. Higgins, hop step, and a timeout called by Matt Goldsmith, forced to, to keep the possession alive. 14 on the shot clock, 6.27 to play. It'll be TCNJ ball after this.
timeout. TCNJ basketball tend to shoot. DeCaro steps back and it's blocked. Dickerson to Ross. Ross, count it, plus the foul. Marcellus Ross, 17 points, a chance for 18. Seventy nine sixty one lead for the profs now. The winner of this to face the winner of the game that's going on between Montclair State and Stockton and Galloway higher seed two and three facing off. Stockton currently leads sixty six sixty for those of you tuning in and keeping up with the and Jack bracket. Under twelve minutes to play in that one, six minutes ahead in this one. Corey, right wing, Bodine to Higgins. Higgins, the fake to the cup and in. Higgins with nine now. Starters has been, have been pretty effective so far for TCNJ, as well obviously for the profs. Melvin, double team. Ross tried to hustle and play. Seeger was coming to the basket and Rowan just tossed that one away. But are still up 80 to 63, of course. Rowan to start out the year, though, they went on this two game losing streak, losing to Swarthmore to start out the year by one point, and then Marymount one point, 89 88. And then again, they just took off, riding multiple winning streaks throughout the year. An 11 game winning streak. Only have had five losses so far on the season, and two of them only in conference play have both been very close games. So the losses for the Profs have not come by a large margin at all, which makes them a very, very tough team to face. Last season, the Rowan squad lost in the NJAC championships to Stockton, looking for some revenge, but Rowan beat them twice this year in the regular season. Ross with the hand in his face, left it short. Rowan also made the first round of the NCAA tournament last year. 10 point loss as Higgins, the fourth player in double figures for the Lions. It's been a 5 0 run for the Lions in the last minute and a half. Seeger with the nice fake to the cup and fouled. Drew Seeger at the line to shoot a pair. The third leading scorer for Rowan. Sinks it. Him and Connor Dickerson averaging most minutes per game on the squad on a nightly basis. 27.8 minutes of play. A 71.11 free throw shooter. Seven and a half rebounds per game to lead the squad as well, and 13.4 points on average. He has surpassed that today with 15. It's picked off. Seeger slams it down and missed it. The crowd was on their feet. Bodine's there to collect. You can only hope that if you're rowing, you'll have another one of those opportunities. Crowd definitely brought some chatter after that one. But Seeger still with 16 points. Caro tries to slip it through Clementi and it's kicked down. Bodine off the pass. No good on the three from Covey. Melvin again with the quick move to Seeger, to Ross. Step back, Mitty drills it.
Rowan, again, now have scored 37 points here in the second half. 32 points for the Lions, almost matching their entire for the first half. So you could argue that TCNJ is playing pretty good, playing better in the second half. Well, still three minutes and 23 seconds to play, but with the pace that Rowan is, is working at and this team that is so heavily heavily relying on their offense right now, realistically, throughout the season. Highest scoring team in the conference and highest margin of victories on the year as well. Covey, no good. No, couple of spins, fader, no. Dickerson tips it in. Dickerson's gonna get called for another one. Four on Connor. Higgins to inbound with 3.02 to play. Clemente back to Higgins. Higgins launches from deep. Higgins has hit three, three balls in this one. 6 and 0 run for the Lions a couple of minutes ago. Back by that three there. With under three to play, TCNJ calls a timeout 86 here from SB Gymnasium. Under three minutes in this one as Rowan. Sizable lead, 86-69. Trying to book their trip to another and Jack final. Josh Wright able to escape the defense and bring it up the floor. Dickerson leads the team with four assists in this one. Pressure from Bodine and draws the whistle. That's his third. It will bring Dickerson to the line as well. Dickerson, the senior, and the one and one doesn't get the bounce. And it's going to be Rowan basketball. Dickerson's been with the playoffs since the 2018-2019 season, averaging a career best 9.8 points per game this season. Noel got pushed. A couple of his teammates come up to get him there. One thing about Jazir Noel, it seems like everybody knows this, that he's always smiling and he always seems like he's having such a great time. And you can see it right there after the love from his teammates. It's, it just seems like he loves playing this sport in his first year with the profs. He has done a fantastic job. The conference leading scorer, the team's obviously leading scorer, does miss a first free throw there as well. Noel also 
fourth in the conference in rebounds, fourth in the conference in field goal percentage as well. So not a lot that Noel can't do. And his impact has definitely been noted for this props this year. DeCaro answers back. 12 points for DeCaro, seven rebounds and three assists. Noel and Bodine wasn't sliding his feet, so whistled for fouls on back-to-back -back possessions. Also an update with the Stockton and Montclair game. It's a four point contest. Stockton up 72, six, seven, 76, 72, excuse me, with 741 to play in that one. Two minutes and 12 seconds left in this one. There's Noel with back to back trips to the line. And nets a pair. Bodine, spin, the hook, no good. His own board contact there. <laughs> Dickerson fouling out of this one. He'll take a seat. Marcellus Ross will check in with two minutes flat left in this one. So Dickerson will finish with five points, three rebounds, and four assists in 26 minutes of play. DeCaro also will take a seat. The senior leading scorer for the line down the season. And Bodine gets another on the free throw line. It was one for two. Strong rebound for Wright, who had it knocked away. Higgins from way downtown. Higgins has hit four threes in this one. Quickly heating up in the second half as Higgins with 7-18 now. Wright with a minute 40 to play. Takes it right side. Josh right off the glass and in. Josh Wright, a great job again off the bench, providing that spark and that life. Higgins draws the contact on the floor. A minute 28 left to play. Damien Smith in a little bit of trouble here with four fouls, but we'll just have to keep composed the next minute and 28. Too strong on the one and one, and it's rejected. Laranega pushes it off the glass. Noel, another rebound. Ross wants it from downtown, not gonna get it there. Higgins floats it home. A second leading scorer is trying to keep his year alive. The sophomore playing great with under a minute to go now in this one. Another call timeout by the Lions as they trail 91-77.
last minute to play here from Glassboro as Rowan leads it 91-77, trying to make it consecutive trips to the NJAC Finals. Foul called there after a call there. Marcellus Ross will take his trip to the free throw line. Knocks it down. Ross, two more points for him. Corey, with 50 seconds to play, cuts it to 17, 93, 80. Wright splits a pair of defenders and a whistle called again. So TC and Jay obviously trying to buy as much time as they can here to score. Bodine has fouled out. Bodine will finish with 11 points, six rebounds, assist, and two steals with the five fouls. That'll bring Laranega back in. Five different players in double figures for the props. This is Josh Wright with 11 now, a chance at 12. Misses short. Higgins, 23 points for Pat Higgins. 38.8 to play. TCNJ chasing around Jazir Noel there. And it seems like TCNJ is just trying to carry as much time as they can but the inevitable right now at this point. Rowan, again, if all stands right now, checking in in the Montclair State and Stockton game again, they could be facing off against Stockton, who is obviously a conference rival, one of the biggest rivals for the profs in the league, who they've beaten twice this year, but obviously they would love to get the revenge against them, losing to them in the conference championship last season. Or they could play Montclair State, who just took a game from them in the end, Jack, as well. Starters come out for TCNJ with 36.2 to play. And players will come out for Rowan as well. So the benches are in with 96-83 lead for Rowan, 36.2 to play. Ryan Ems, Tim Mayarek, Drew Amos, Ryan Amelia, and McCarran out there. Chris McCarran picking up the defender. Estevez dumps in the post. The turnaround's no good from Rind. And now 15 seconds to play. Rowan will dribble this one out. As the profs will go back to the NJAC championship. They take down TCNJ 96 to 83 here inside SB Gymnasium. What a game it was for the profs. Set the tone early on and did not look back. Largest lead came at one point, 20 point lead for the props, only a four point lead ever in the opening minutes for the Lions and Rowan knew they were gonna come out with a victory in this one and played like the number one seed that they are. Some final stats, Pat Higgins, a great game, especially in the second half for the Lions, 23 points, two rebounds, two assists as well. DeCaro with 12 points and seven rebounds. Clemente led the way with 12 boards. 
for TCNJ and for the profs, Marcellus Ross, a great game. He had five three-pointers, 22 points. Jazir Noll with 20 and nine rebounds as well to lead the profs. Also, Seeger with 16, Vilmar with 10, and Josh Wright with 11. So the profs will go to the NJAC championship. Well, they will host either Stockton or Montclair State. For Karaguno and the rest of our crew here on Roan Athletics saying so long and thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your night.